All right, lads. So November rain solo. So it's based on the C major scale. So as I always say, I never like to teach a melody without teaching the scale that it's based on first, right? Because then if you're playing the melody and you don't know where you are on the scale, then you're kind of lost. You're kind of following your nose, okay? So here we go. So, so the way you play the major, one of the best ways to play the major scale on the guitar is find the root note. So if we're doing C major scale, then we want to find a C note on the sixth string, okay? So easiest way to do that is, um, you know, we go from A to G, there's sharps above everyone except for B and D, right? So we start off with E, <clears throat> no E sharp, so F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. So eighth fret, we're starting on. So we're gonna start here, and then move straight on to the next string, okay? So we're going eighth on the sixth, fifth on the fifth, seventh on the fifth, Eighth on the fifth, next string, uh, fifth on the fourth string, seventh on the fourth string, then on the G string, we're starting all of these pretty much on the fifth fret, except for the G string, we're going back, four, five, seven, coming back up to the fifth string, do the same thing, up one, then two, then fifth string, fifth fret again, on the first string now, 5th, 7th, 8th, up 2, then 1. Okay, so let's do it. So you've got... There it is. It's a C major scale, so up and down. So let's go back down with it. Okay, so the solo itself, so we're gonna do the first uh, phrase of it today, right? So we're coming up on the B string. Okay, so we're hitting that top note on the B string, eighth fret, doing a two semitone bend, right? So, so there, up it goes, right? So you got two semitones here. So if you're not sure how far to push it up, slide it up two frets. Okay, so here we go. Push it up, hit it again. Uh, you see the way we just kind of leave it down a little bit and push it back up, so. It's not like this, it's not all the way down. That's not what he's doing. He's only leaving it down a little bit and pushing it back up. So there's the first bend, okay? So we're coming up. Little finger on the same fret on the first string. So we're coming up. Hitting it while it's still up, leaving it back down all the way. And coming down to the sixth fret. Okay, so let's go through it again. So the second time you come up, so we're talking after this bit. So you come down to the 6th, then go back up for another bend, and you let it straight down again. And again. And then we come back down to the 5th fret. And a small little 1 semitone bend up and down. Then we're right up here, 8th fret on the 1st string. So then you've got two of those little bends. Okay, so I'm gonna do it slowly now. Okay, and remember, rewind the video, okay? If you're not catching something, just rewind it, okay? So here we go. Take two, let's try again.
And finally, we're coming up to the G string, second, seventh fret and fifth fret, so we can do a pull off. Come back up, slide up another two frets, hit the eighth fret on the B string with your middle finger. And then you've got this very quick little slide. As soon as you come back to that ninth fret on the G string, you come down to the seventh, and then with your first finger, the fifth fret, and that's the end of the first phrase. Okay, so slowly again. So, that's the first bit. So make sure, now I want you going, uh, this is way more important, okay? That's where all of this stuff comes from, the major scale. Just remember, play it anywhere, okay? Play the E major scale. So there's an E note, 12th fret. And don't let me catch you doing this. Down, 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 okay? Down and up. Okay, so see you again with that. See you next time.